time for one of our favorite segments of the week where the media covers itself in glory. One of the key themes of the week has been the media and the anchors, like Mika Brzezinski, going full Karen mode. Um, <laughs> and uh, Allison Camerata decided not to let one of her colleagues claim the full Karen mantle. She decided to call, jump in and literally try to call the managers on President Trump. Let's take a listen. Okay, John, back here in the U.S., President Trump is explaining why he broke the law and refused to wear a mask during his public tour of a Ford plant in Michigan. I had one on before. I wore one in this back area, but I didn't want to give the press the pleasure of seeing it. But no, where I had it in the back area, I did put a uh, mask on. Okay, so for some reason, the president did wear a mask in private, as seen in this picture from the Detroit Free Press, but then he took it off once he was in front of the cameras. Why did he want to publicly break the law? Wow, that's very cringeworthy. I mean, yeah, just like, is why is he publicly breaking the law? Look, the mask thing, far from our problems here right now, folks. Well, People are dying on your own network. Your, your uh, primetime anchor can't ask his brother why he condemned old people to death in nursing homes. I just so, hate like, the mask <laughs> culture war all the way around. E yeah. Everyone involved in who, turning in the mask oh. or not mask thing into some weird political divide, right. like, are all disgusting to me. But that your point is the one. Yeah. Look, should President Trump be wearing a mask? I think so. Yeah, I think he should also wear. For, by the way, I think he should wear a mask. I think he should, should all wear a mask. I wear a mask whenever I, I'm not. I think he should set. wear a mask. Yeah. I think it sets an important example. I think it could help in you know undoing the stupid mask culture war that we have unfolding before our eyes. But also. Media looks ridiculous when they obsess about, oh, he wore it in pu yeah. not in public, and we ca caught a picture of him, and we're going to share it around. Right. Like, this is the most important aspect of the story that we could possibly imagine. And it's like, it's all fed by social media. You see how this bubbles up on Twitter, and people exactly. obsess over it, and they get the photo, and they share it, and then it it's covered endlessly on CNN, and it just makes me want to kill myself, Yeah, honestly. it really does. It's like, oh, really? This is the main thing. <laughs> You didn't wear a mask. And the wine moms are like, hey, you didn't wear a mask. You yeah, really so got him. It's got sort him. of the equivalent of like when uh, Pelosi said that he's morbidly obese. Mm -hmm. And that was like they the big him. deal. And then he, she said like he has doggy do on his shoe. or I, What was that? Like, I can't believe I just said that. That she actually, this is a thing that happened this week. But that type of coverage and that type of critique of Donald Trump, why it drives me crazy is because I actually don't like him. And right. I think his response is terrible. Right. And I think if this is the sort of crap that you focus on, you are doing a disservice to an actually accurate critique of what's going on. Well, imagine that. All right. More rising for you after this.